Yo, YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? It's your boy Tecmo here again, and I'm back with another review and unboxing. Today we have a new pickup from one of my favorite earbud companies, Skull Candy. These are the Push Ultra True Wireless earbuds, and they have some pretty nice features for the $99 price tag. First, they're rocking Bluetooth 5.0, so you shouldn't have any issues with lag or disconnections. You also have respectable battery life with the Push Ultras. You'll get about six hours on a single charge. Another thing that caught my eye about these earbuds is the fact that they have multiple ear hooks. If you have weird shaped ears like myself, you'll definitely appreciate the ability to mold the ear hooks to fit exactly how you want them to fit. Now taking a look at the box, you get pretty much everything you would need to get your earbuds up and running. You get your normal user manual, but you also get a quick start guide if you wanna bypass that. You get a USB type C charging cable to charge the case. And last but certainly not least, you get your earbuds and your charging case. Now you will notice that you don't have any replacement ear tips or ear gels. That's because the ear tips and the earbuds are embedded into the design so you cannot alter them. As you can see, I picked up the black pair, but these do come in a neon yellow option and a beach blue option as well. And taking a look at the charging case itself, it is made out of plastic, but it comes in a zip up case with like a canvas type finish. There isn't much going on on the outside of the case besides the Skull Candy branding on the top and the USB type C charging port in the back. Overall, I do like the design of the case. It is a little bit different than what I'm used to from Skull Candy, but I do like the zipper and they also do have a little loop if you wanna clip them to something. The case is really sturdy in the hands and it shouldn't have any issues keeping your earbuds safe. One thing that I'm pleased to say about the case is that you can wirelessly charge it. The last few pair of earbuds that I unboxed, some much more expensive than these, <clears throat> Sony did not have this feature. I do not like using cords to charge my phones or my earbuds, so thank you Skull Candy for giving me that feature. As for battery life with the case, you can expect to charge the earbuds about an additional five times before you have to charge the case. Moving on to the earbuds, the design is nice in my opinion, and they look different than most other pair of Skull Candy earbuds. They definitely have more of a sport look to them, and you can't miss the Skull Candy emblems on the side of the earbuds. A nice feature that you have with the earbuds is you can use either earbud in mono mode. So if you're listening to both and you wanna take one out and put it back into the case, you can do so. The other will continue playing. The Push Ultras do have built-in mics so you can take and make voice calls using the earbuds. I have made a few voice calls using the earbuds and I think that the call quality is pretty clear. But like always, I'll let you guys judge for yourselves Let's take a listen. All right, guys. So right now I have the Push Ultras paired to my iPhone 11. The audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. This is completely unedited audio. So this should give you an idea of how you'll sound if you use these for voice calls. Like I mentioned earlier, for the battery life with the earbuds, you can expect to get about six hours on a full charge, but you also do have quick charging with these, so only 10 minutes worth of charging will get you up to two hours worth of usage. When it's time to charge the earbuds, they do fit into the case pretty easily. Now keep in mind, you may have to readjust the ear hooks to get them into place, but in general, they fit in there pretty easily. Moving on to the controls, each earbud has three physical buttons, and I like the controls so far. They're pretty straightforward, and easy to execute. You pause and play your music or hang up and pick up calls with the main buttons on each earbud. And then you're gonna track forward and track back and adjust your volume with the forward and back buttons on each earbud. The Push Ultras are IP67 rated, so sweat or splashes of water will not harm them. But IP67 does not make them completely waterproof, so you don't wanna submerge them underwater. I did submerge them underwater for about a minute just to test it out. Let's see what happened. Yeah. 
Now, one thing that I thought was going to set these apart from other Sub 100 Skull Candy earbuds was the ability to use them with the app. With the app, you're supposed to be able to access different EQs apart from the three that come with the earbuds. But unfortunately, so far the app has been pretty much useless to me. I haven't been able to customize anything with the earbuds. Hopefully they update the app soon because right now you really can't do much other than look at quick start guides and the user manual. You can't see how much charge is left on the earbuds or the charging case and you cannot create your own custom EQ. But one plus with the app is the tile feature is working. So if you want to track your earbuds, you can do so. I am disappointed with the functionality of the app. The Skull Candy app provides me with a lot more customization options with my Crusher headphones. Another disappointment with these earbuds is out of the box. They're supposed to come with three different EQ modes. The user manual says that you can switch between music, movies, and podcast guys i'm telling you i tried everything in the user manual it doesn't work i've reset the earbuds and tried it again i've tried it on the right earbud i've tried it on the left it does not switch i did send an email to skull candy so hopefully they give me a fix but right now i'm stuck in music mode now the fit in the ears for me is great with these once you get the ear hooks molded around your ears the earbuds will stay in place you won't have to worry. They are on the larger side, so they do take up most of the space in your ears. They also do stick out quite a bit, so if that's a concern for you, keep that in mind. But for me, they're really comfortable earbuds. I don't think that they're overly large or overly heavy. The way that the earbuds fit in your ears pushes most of the sound down into them. But like most earbuds, they do leak some sound. Let's take a listen. I have exercised with them and they stayed in place perfectly even when I became sweaty. At no point in time did they feel uncomfortable or like they were weighing me down. And now let me move on and talk about the audio quality. And it really hurts me to say this, but I was not blown away by the sound quality with these. Maybe the drivers will loosen up after more use and change the performance, but out of the box, these are flat and give you an airy type sound. Out of the box, I don't feel like I get that enhanced detail or that deep bass like I'm used to with other Skull Candy earbuds. With my sessions, I feel like I get much more detail in my music. And the bass with the Push Ultras is just okay. It's not deep like with those other earbuds and it gives you a synthetic feel. Overall, I'd say that the sound with these is above average, but it's definitely not what I was looking for or what I'm used to. Now, one thing that I can say about the sound is they do get loud enough for my personal liking, but they are not that pleasing to listen to at max volume. They do give you some distortion and they're just not that clear. Taking everything into consideration, I am a little disappointed with these earbuds. They look great on paper and I think that they could have been a lot better. I mean, I like the design of both the case and the earbuds and as you heard, the call quality is pretty clear. You also get respectable battery life with the case and the earbuds. But overall, I just don't think that these were ready to come out. The sound quality is not where it should be for the price point. Also, in its current state, the app is pretty much useless for me. I hope that they update the app in the near future to improve the functionality, but right now, I don't see any value in it. I do think that I'm probably one of the first people to pick up a pair of these earbuds. So maybe they will provide an update through the app for the earbuds. Maybe they can tune them and make them sound better. But out of the box in their current state, I wouldn't suggest these for 99 bucks. The other features that these provide are great and the fit is great, but the sound quality is not where it should be. Skull Candy, y'all know I love y'all, but I gotta keep it real with the people. I'm not feeling these. But that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to get you an answer. But until next time, I appreciate you guys coming through and hanging out with your boy. I appreciate the support. Like I always say, y'all be safe, y'all stay positive, and most importantly, have a great day. It's your boy Tecmo, and I'm out.
Peace. If you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you don't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.